I'm the luckiest man in the world today. Thanks to everybody that's traveled so far. We really do appreciate it. We do feel incredibly blessed to have you all here with us today. So thank you for that. So now it's on to myself and Nicole. So from the day she asked me to be her boyfriend. <laughs> I've never looked back. So thank you for always doing and choosing what's best um, for us. Right, standing, standing here today with you, um, it's, it's my dream come true. Your love, your kindness, your support means everything to me. You're my best friend and the love of my life. I promise, I promise to cherish and honor, love you every day through all the adventures and challenges that life will bring us. So ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses. Yes to love, laughter and a happy ever after. From my Nicole, she's incredible warmth, she's very emotional, very affectionate. Really, when you tear it all down, you've got a, a little girl with a, a big, big, big heart and just wants to love and be loved. <laughs> now, every princess needs a prince. Yeah. And our prince came darting out of the South African bush. Yeah. Riding on the back of a lion that he'd wrestled into submission. And with his rampant good looks and his witty charm, he swept her off her feet. Unlike Bono and the rest of you two mates who haven't found what they're looking for, you found that person that you want to say, hey, no more looking, this is the one for me, this is the one I'm, I'm, I'm happy to. I fall in love, and that's, that's a beautiful thing. Love's a beautiful thing, you know. Rick, we are proud of you, bro. What you've become and where you've gone to, and the woman that you've chosen to make your wife, to bring us good looking grandkids. <laughs> um, so, you know, the pressure is on. <laughs> uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and what a wonderful evening it will be to celebrate the bonds between two gorgeous people, to celebrate the new adventures that Greg and Nicole will be embarking on. I have no doubt in my mind that you're in good hands with him, Nicole. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to raise your glasses to a wonderful man and a wonderful woman? <laughs> Nicole did not prepare me for today to see her as a glowing, beautiful bride, but with the very, very little marriage knowledge I have, I offer you this. This clock stopped ticking today at 12 minutes past three, the exact moment that you and Greg had your first kiss as husband and wife. So, <laughs> if difficult times do come in the future, I ask you to reflect on this clock and on this moment and to remind one another that it is never you and Greg against each other. It is always you and Greg against the problem. I'm so proud to be here today and be your maid of honor. And Greg, fault a quick on clown. <laughs> on behalf of Dad and Mum and myself, I would like to welcome Greg into our family officially. Cole was very lucky to meet Greg. She's hard work. Don't <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Nicole is one of the kindest, most caring people I know. She's an incredible sister who has looked out for me since the day I was born. Whenever I was sad, Nicole would always be there for me. She would be so understanding. I'm so thankful to have her as my sister. I hope they enjoy the next chapter in their lives. There's a little note I would like to add. Sisters are like brass, close to the heart and there for support. <laughs> Greg, welcome to the family. How are 
are you feeling? How are you feeling now? When all the pieces seem like they can't be found. When all the pieces seem like they can't be found. It is my absolute honor to when pronounce all the pieces that you are now seem husband like they can't and wife. Be found. <laughs> When all the pieces seem like they can't be found.